I've been waiting for this day for so damn long. Okay, so finally somebody did it. I don't know if you guys have been watching my previous videos, but in those videos I've stated multiple things about the same topic, and that is I've wanted somebody for so long to create a roster which not only had the offseason moves, but also had the 2020 NFL rookies. So including Joe Burrow, Jeff Okuda, Tua, Andrew Thomas, uh, Justin Herbert, I can go on and on with the rookies. Finally, someone did it, and whoever that was, actually, no, I know who it is, it's TFG, the franchise guy, that franchise guy, I mean, he's the person who makes all this stuff, he's a bigger YouTube, much bigger than me, so I'm thankful that he was able to create this roster for me, but now, since I have the rookies in Madden, now, first of all, there's no mods on console, so we don't have, like, accurate pictures, and second of all, there's no ratings released by Madden yet for Madden 21, so we don't know if this is going to be completely accurate, but this is the closest we can get, so TFG, this is the person who made it. And now it is time to take a look at some of these rookies. So the first rookie, of course, we're going to look at is number one, Joe Burrow. As you can see, there's his profile picture. It looks exactly like him. I know it's as accurate as you can get. But Joe Burrow is at his 78 overall. It's not that bad. That kind of looks like him. Who else are we going to look at? Okay, here's Justin Herbert. He's a 65 overall in the Chargers at number 10. And now we have Tua Tagovol. I don't never know how to pronounce that, but now you got really weird names. So he's apparently starting over Fitzpatrick. Here he is. He's a 73 overall. I wonder if that's actually him in the profile picture. 73 overall from Alabama, and oh my, <laughs> okay, see, so, yeah, doesn't really, okay, yeah, I don't blame TFG on this, uh, because it's hard to create somebody, but that really doesn't look like two at all, <laughs> rookie 73 overall, who's next? Okay, you also have Andrew Thomas and left tackle for the Giants, 315 pounds and towering 6'5", 75 overall, uh, kind of a weird face texture, once I said, it's gonna be a little glitchy, it's, it's made with Madden's weird features. No mods, of course. Okay, so now on the Lions, we should have Jeff Okuda for a cornerback. He is starting 79 overall for Jeff Okuda on the cornerback from Ohio State. And here he is, number 23. And I think we're going to look at Chase Young last. Okay, here we're going to look at Chase Young now. Of course, there's so many more rookies I can look at. Here's his profile picture. 78 overall for Chase Young. And this is just a few of the big name rookies from Ohio State. Again, 78 overall, 99 on the Redskins. That's actually pretty accurate. He's got the dreads and everything. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find out who's become Rookie of the Year. Of course, Madden doesn't have a feature for that. I'm going to have to look at the rookie stats and see who just did the best. Who does Madden think the best rookie is going to be and how the rookies are going to perform this upcoming season now that we have all the offseason moves and everything like that. So I'm going to go through the season. I'm going to take a look at some stats. We'll run through them, and we'll see what Madden has to say about these upcoming rookies. So let's go. Okay, I'm back. We have simulated all 17 weeks of play. I'm going to start with the Redskins because that's just what I ended on. It's time to take a look at no other than Chase Young now. I honestly forgot to do this. I haven't played Madden forever. Wrong button. Okay, so I can go back to stats now. Uh, Chiefs, Cow Cowboys, Browns. Once again, it's a tie. Seahawks, Texans, Rams, Steelers, Cardinals, Saints, Dolphins, Eagles missed at 97. Bears, Packers missed at 97. A lot of 9 and 7 teams that missed. And a lot of mediocre teams at the bottom is probably the Redskins. 49ers. Wow. Wow, that's surprising. 4 11 and 1. Vikings, Buccaneers, Ra are we sure these are the correct rosters? <laughs> I'm kind of confused. Okay, so I found Chase Young. He had 31 solo tackles and 11 assist tackles, making up for a total of 42 tackles. He had 7 tackles for loss. He didn't have any sacks, which is kind of surprising. No picks, uh, nothing like that. That's all he had. Ch Chase Young really didn't have the explosive year as the number 2 pick. He got a few tackles, and that's it. That's that's only for Chase Young. That, that kind of sucks, to be honest. Okay, so Jeff Okuda, I think he was the third overall pick. He had 74 solo tackles with 20 assist tackles, a total of 94 tackles, 7 tackles for a loss, a half a sack, and 3 interceptions. So he definitely helped the Lions out this year, much better than Chase Young. Uh, and yes, some deflections. He got interception yards, 42, and some other stuff. I don't really know what the C-T-H-A means. Maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know. But Jeff Okuda, pretty good year for him. Uh, three picks, almost 100 tackles. That's definitely an upside for a rookie. Let's move on to, I believe, uh, we'll take a look at Tua. Yeah, let's go to Tua. Okay, so the Dolphins actually won the AFC East, which is a little funny. I think the Lions also made the playoffs. I'm not too sure. But I just saw Tua. I didn't really look at the stats. Here he is. 3,500 yards for a rookie with 28 touchdowns and six picks. That's pretty good. Isn't that a rookie record? I don't really know what the touchdown passing. I think Baker Mayfield broke it like two or three years ago. But that's a good bit of touchdowns for a rookie. 28 touchdowns. Say only six picks and uh, 3,500 yards. That's pretty impressive. 
Okay, so the Chargers, I'm going to take a look at, what's his name, Justin Herbert. I don't know if he started or not. I think Tyrod Taylor started the entire year. Herbert did play a little bit. He got 42 yards. He had seven attempts, and that's it. So he probably played like one or two downs, and that's it. So Herbert basically sat the bench the entire year under Tyrod Taylor. But I think it's time to look at the big name now, the person we were waiting to see the entire time. How did Joe Burrow do? Number one overall pick, number nine on the Bengals. And how they well did they do? They did 6-10, and ten, so uh, obviously they did not make the playoffs. But let's just see how good Bro did. And there you can see a few numbers are there. He got 3,700 yards with 31 touchdowns and 15 picks. So honestly, Tua might have done better. I mean, Bro had a little bit more yards and a little bit much more touchdowns. But he had a lot more picks. I think he had like 9 more picks. And I'm not too sure how much attempts that both of them had. He got sacked 22 times. So Burrow and... What's his name? Burrow and Tua both had a pretty good rookie season. I'm not going to lie there. Uh, but 15 picks was a good bit for Burrow compared to Tua's only 6 picks. So Burrow and Tua, the starting quarterbacks that are rookies. I would say pretty decent seasons. It didn't help them that much. Let's just run through the entire playoffs. Let's just see who wins the Super Bowl real quick. Okay, so we made it to the Super Bowl. How about this one? The Cardinals versus the Chiefs. Uh, the Chiefs are back-to-back -back Super Bowl or AFC champions into the Super Bowl again and the Cardinals which rookies did they pick up they got Isaiah Simmons that's right I didn't take a look at Isaiah Simmons I think now would be a good time okay so the Cardinals went 9-5-2 and two. such a wacky record to make the Super Bowl the Chiefs are somewhat realistic uh but oh, what's his name Isaiah Simmons had to do something for this team and that's probably why they made the playoffs of course or the Super Bowl I mean so let's just take a look at how good Isaiah Simmons did like I said, he had to contribute a little bit. Let's take a look at the defense. Isaiah Simmons. He is second for the Cardinals defense. He had 96 tackles in total. Five tackles for loss and one pick. So he didn't do oh so much compared to, who was it? Was it Jeff Okuda? Yeah, he didn't do as much. But it's still a pretty decent rookie season. He's getting there. Uh, one pick for Isaiah Simmons in his rookie year. So that's how well Isaiah Simmons did real quick. Let's just see who wins the Super Bowl. It'll be the Chiefs again. I think the Chiefs gonna win the Super Bowl again so that's the rookies in NFL Madden 20 if you guys want to get these rookies for yourself head to the rosters and just go download TFG Real 2020 it has the offseason moves and the rookies I believe the rookie of the year is most likely going to be Tua looking at it I would think uh, Tua Jeff Okuda did pretty good of course I didn't look at all rookies you know there could be some really good rookies but if we're looking at the most realistic rookie of the year out of the big names, it's probably going to be Tua or Burrow might be it, or even Jeff Okuda apparent to Madden, because Jeff Okuda had a pretty decent season. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and who's going to be the rookie of the year in your prediction? Comment down below, and I'll see you guys later.